Hey guys, the Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. This video will be briefly going over restoring and backing up Mikritik config files. Um, it's a relatively important topic because it's always handy to have a backup of a configuration around in case maybe something goes wrong with the router or some hardware failure occurs and you need to replace the equipment or maybe just before you make that big change and you you just want to make sure you have something to roll back to in case there is some mistake that's why you want to have backup configurations now i'm just going to continue this off of the lab i had recently where i created a little mikrotik just to show you how to connect it to the internet etc so i'm going to jump onto winbox and i'm going to connect to this mikrotik and once i'm in winbox i just want to show you we're going to most of the work we'll be doing from the file system so at files and what we can do in order to back up the configuration there's two ways um, the way that you'll usually do this is through your terminal by exporting the configuration to a script file basically a text file just with all of your changes in it and to do that you can just go into the new terminal and then we can just run an export command and then you can type in file equals and this will allow you to type in a file name so what I tend to do is I usually make it the router's name and then the date, like today's date or something. So I'm going to type the network berg home uh, and then the date is 13.07.2020. And then I can hit enter. So if I go back to my file system, you should see there is a network berg home 13.07.2020. Now that is the actual backup and it is on the hard disk of the router, but I want to just download this. So we just want to download this file now by right clicking on it, clicking the download button and navigating here where we want to store it on the local system. So I'm going to store this under my downloads folder. You could store this wherever you want, maybe make a backups folder. And if I navigate to my downloads now, I'll see there is a file there, the same file that was on the router. And if I right click on this and edit it with like notepad plus plus, it'll show me all of the additional configuration that was set. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can download all of the configuration by doing a verbose export, but it's going to be more hassle than what it's worth, especially if you're new uh, to the networking world and you don't want stuff like the same Mac addresses to be on, on, a, on a device. Now, I'm just quickly going to edit something here because I know the CHR actually doesn't because I didn't add that configuration so I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to save this again but on a normal router it's it, you, you won't see that um, <laughs> that doesn't typically occur this is just something on the CHR that I'm using now I'm going to go back into my Mikrotik device and let's do it from Winbox so just to verify that the backups is working, the configs, I'm going to reset this router. So I'm just going to go to the system and factory reset or reset configuration. I'm going to keep the user configuration and I don't want any default configuration. And then I'm just going to reset this configuration and then the router or router will reboot. And there we go. So it's busy booting up again. I'm just going to try and reconnect in a second. And the device should be without any configuration now. And let's see, it's logging in. Because we kept the username and password, we can still log in with the details we set the last time. All right, so we've logged into the device. Uh, let's just quickly verify that all the config is gone. If I go to my IP addresses, only the DHCP is there. Uh, if I open up a terminal window, it's called Mikrotik. So we know this device has been successfully factory reset. So if we want to restore the config, what we could potentially do is come in here um, in the file system. So I've already got the config here, but let's imagine it wasn't here. There's two ways we could go about getting the config back up onto the device. We could click on this upload button then navigate on your um, desktop where the file is that you want to upload or you could also just go into your downloads folder or wherever your configs are and drag and drop it into the Mikrotik. So there we go. I've got my backup file back in. 
Now, if I want to import, <laughs> I mean, you, you can, I think you can already see where we're going. So we export the config using the terminal and we're going to import the config using the terminal. And to do this, we can just run the import command and then we can specify the file equals and then we can type the and if you hit tab and there's a file with that name it will auto complete it for you so we're just going to import this file i'm going to hit enter and then it it gets angry at me okay so this is because there's some additional config on the chr that already exists so let's just go into the dhcp and remove that and this doesn't typically happen it's just because i'm running on this virtual router so I just want to turn that off for now. DHCP. I think it is because the DHCP is automatically on this interface. Okay. So let me remove that. If I can. Okay, it's disabled. Can I remove it? Let's see what happens if I try and run it. Oh, okay. Um, I'm being a bit oblivious. All right, let's just connect with the MAC address and do it through there. All right, so it already added some of the config. I'm just going to remove this config that was added. Because the config, when you import, it will run like a script. So it will run everything until it hits an error and then it will stop importing which is a bit of an issue because you'll see if I go to my DHCP server, that's blank. But because there was a DHCP client configured, it allowed that to happen. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal, run the import again. Script file loaded and executed successfully. All right, so it's run through the whole script, all of those text lines without any issues. So if I go back into my IP addresses, I should have my IPs. The name of the router changed as well. Um, let's see, do I have my IP services? Yes. So all of this configuration is back again. So we've recovered the configuration by just importing the script file, which we exported earlier. And now the other thing that we could do is in the file system again, you can hit this backup button and this will create a backup file. So we could also call it something like the network berg new. You can give it a password. I typically wouldn't, um, but, but you can. There is that form of security and you can encrypt the data and everything. But I'm just going to back this up as a normal file. This backup file can be relatively dangerous because it works similarly to a verbose export. It's going to take all the MAC addresses and all the information of the router and just store it in a big backup file. So this works great. If you're restoring to the same device, to the exact same router, because it will have the same MAC addresses and everything. But if you're restoring to a different Mikrotik router, you're going to run into issues and then the backup doesn't work that nicely. Um, you can use the same process, download this um, from here, re-upload it. And then to restore the backup, you don't do that through the terminal. You just click the restore button. You find the backup file and you just hit the restore button and then it will recover all that configuration. So those are two ways that you can use to recover um, configuration and restore it or back it up and restore it, so to say. And I hope it has been informative that you've learned something and I'll catch you in the next video. See you.